And just like that, we have our first invest of the 2024 hurricane season. What's going on, guys? Certified meteorologist Jonathan Keg is back with you. Invest 90L has officially been designated by the National Hurricane Center. If you don't know what an invest is, stick around for a couple of minutes, and we're going to break that down. We're going to show you where it is, what impacts it could bring. Then we're going to focus our attention to a secondary area. This is going to be for over the weekend and into next week in the southwest Gulf Bay of Campeche area could have another little something something trying to get going and then we also have more saharan dust coming towards the caribbean so we're going to break that down for our friends in the islands coming up before we get into this video if you want to stay updated on the weather and of course as we venture through hurricane season you have to hit subscribe please do that i would love to know where you're tuning in from post that in the comments and here we go. So first and foremost, here is the area that the National Hurricane Center has highlighted. Now, the actual low itself is hanging off the Gulf Coast of Florida, at least open wave. It's trying to curl up. I'll show you the satellite in just one second. But in terms of the development potential for this entity, for this invest, is going to be off the Florida coast and then up the eastern seaboard, really in between Bermuda and the United States. That should stay out to sea. Now, for Florida, what this is going to do, it's going to be continued heavy rain tropical moisture maybe a few gusty winds potential for an isolated strong storm or two really over the next couple of days but in terms of this thing becoming a depression or becoming a name if it were to do that prior to florida which it's unlikely impacts would be the same these low end tropical or quasi tropical things this time of the year they're all the same because typically they're on the weaker side so here we go you're going to hear this term a lot we're going to talk about it a lot on this channel because it's something that the hurricane center designates it's an area of investigation invest and again, they're designated by the Hurricane Center when they want more information on a system. So when something is deemed an invest, that's whenever the hurricane models start to be run, uh, ran on these things. That's when we get the spaghetti models to pop up. And if necessary, this is when Hurricane Hunter missions start to investigate the system so again investigate invest that's where we get that so it's kind of weird but the first one of the season starts out as 90 the atlantic side has the tag l the uh for the i'm trying to make the l sound for atlantic but 90 l is the first one and then as we get through the first nine you get to 99 l and then it just recycles to 90 l so that's where these numbers come from so the first one of the season is invest 90 l we'll eventually see invest 90 l again later down the line but they recircle 90 through 99 so just wanted to uh, make you aware of that if you never knew what an invest was before here it is right here and you kind of see the swirl i'm going to let this picture load and i'm going to bring out my telestration to kind of show you what's going on and we see that little swirl right off the gulf coast of florida and this is going to be as of 6 11 at about nine o'clock at night and we can clearly see that little swirl there again development prior to florida it doesn't matter but it's unlikely until it gets to the atlantic side that's when it will have a slightly better chance to develop into something tropical maybe becoming the first tropical depression of the 2024 hurricane season again that remains to be seen right now we're going to keep an eye on that but again that should slide between bermuda and the united states hey before we go forward and talk about that second area toward the bay of campeche with a central american gyre spin up and get into the caribbean i wanted to bring your attention to another way to stay updated on the tropics and that's with my tropics watch newsletter if you want to stay up to date i visit your inbox every monday and if there's something out there that is noteworthy, just head to clickorlando.com slash newsletters, or you can scan the QR code on your screen with your smartphone. And again, I'll visit your inbox and we will talk about the tropics and anything that you need to be aware of or stuff like that, kind of dispelling some hype, which we do a lot on this channel because boy it is out there already or misinformation for that matter you saw my rant if you saw tropics watch live which is every monday at 11 o'clock in the morning it's about the slow start to the season i won't rehash all that but anyway 
it's a good spot, and it's a free sign-up. Just sign up to that, subscribe, subscribe to everything. Would love to have you guys on board. All right, so here is the satellite and radar picture. This is a satellite-derived radar. Of course, we don't have radar sites over the ocean, so this is what the satellite thinks the radar picture is going to do. And I want to draw your attention to Central America. We have the Central American gyre developing. This is a semi-area, a semi-permanent area of low pressure that typically does develop on the early side of the season. We also get it on the late side of the season, but you see all this thunderstorm activity, especially in the eastern Pacific. That's actually also highlighted for tropical development in that basin, but we're going to be monitoring this area eventually for maybe that gyre to spit out some thunderstorms in the Bay of Campeche region and then eventually potentially lift north. I want to show you some of that also heavy rain over the Bahamas, western Cuba. We have some thunderstorms over Puerto Rico into the eastern Caribbean. The intertropical convergence zone is lighting up. Nothing organized out here as we take a quick little satellite tour of the Atlantic Basin, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we have a few thunderstorms around as well. We also have a little bit of dust trying to push into the Windward Islands, and that should increase a little bit as we get into the next few days, and we'll show you that in just one second. First, I want to show you, though, really over the next couple of days, uh, what could happen. And if I go backwards, I ran right past it. Let me uh, go back a little bit. So I have to open up my scene here in real time and just kind of go back to show you the areas of spin that could develop over the next couple of days. So here we go on Friday. And note just where I have, uh, there is Bermuda, there is my mouse. And then you see that little swirl. So that would be Invest 90L. At this point, it's making a case to at least become something tropical. You see that closed circulation at least. We'll see if it can maintain some thunderstorms around the center. And then we have this elongated area of spin right along the Bay of Campeche, taking that further out into the future. This is the GFS rendition, by the way. Uh, you see that spin up a little bit further uh, and try to develop as we get into the early stages of next week. That spin tightens up a little bit. That's going to be Tuesday. That's uh, further out into the future. That, I believe, is going to be the 18th of June, right on the western side of the Gulf Bay Campeche area. So, again, something to be mindful of that everybody talking about this slow start to the season. I guess they're right. We haven't had a storm yet, but typically we don't have the first name storm until June 20th. That was the basis of my rant that people were saying that this season was going to be a bust in terms of those forecasts. Again, I won't hash it out. You can go watch the update, uh, the posted version of Tropics Watch Live uh, to see all of that. But the early season activity or lack thereof means nothing to what is to come for the season. Here is the latest on the dust. We have a little bit of it trying to get into the Windward Islands as we speak. There we go with the dust. This is going to be for tomorrow. Uh, if you're watching this on June 11th, this will be for June 12th. And more of that dust tries to spread back in, uh, especially to Trinidad and Tobago as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. St. Lucia, Barbados in the Windward Islands, making its way to parts of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, maybe curling up into the Bahamas as well. So that is something to keep in mind as we go over the next couple of days. It doesn't look too terribly thick, but we've already had a few rounds of some pretty thick dust in through parts of uh, the Caribbean already, especially the Windward and Leeward Islands and in northern uh, South America. Wanted to kind of show you the next couple of tropical waves to come through and we can already see that there again my pause point is just all messed up so i gotta go back again and i'm going to show you especially as this enters into the caribbean don't mind the uh the little drop down there that's my telestration that i can use uh for live tracking to go to a bunch of different things as we do that as we uh, have our live streams together um but really as we get into sunday and this is a good time to kind of point out what a tropical wave is. It's that inverted wave pattern, the inverted wind pattern. So this is on Sunday, and you see the wind kind of coming in out of the east, going up, and then coming back down. So there's the increasing rain chances as we get to the Windward Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, northern South America as well. That is going to be as we get into the weekend. So a couple of waves trying to come through embedded in the intertropical convergence zone across the Atlantic. Alrighty, guys. 
hit me up. Have any questions, post them in the comments. You can also find me on Twitter or X, Facebook, Jonathan Kegis News 6. Of course, if you're watching this on Just Weather, you've already found the channel, and I thank you for doing that. I appreciate you guys being here. Try not that Instagram thing, at Certified Kegis. And if you want to hit up my inbox, jkegis at wkmg.com. Again, I'm responsive to all that stuff, so any questions, please hit me up, fire them at me. Again, the reason for this channel is to get rid of the uh, misinformation, all of the noise that's out there, and it is hard to believe how much is out there when there really is very little going on at this time. But we, we got you guys covered. Again, post in the comments where you're tuning in from. If you want more of this content, please hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up as well if you found this content helpful, and we will catch you next time.